Hashtag Twitter files is trending currently on Twitter. The files are an Elon Musk endorsed expose, revealing internal documents about how the company handled a news article. The New York Post article in question here was about Hunter Biden. It was published in the run up to the 2020 US presidential elections. As per what it's being called, the Twitter files, a small group of top-level Twitter executives decided to label the New York Post article as hacked material, allegedly without any evidence. That too behind the back of the then CEO and founder Jack Dorsey. Earlier today, Twitter's current CEO Elon Musk retweeted independent journalist Matt Taibbi's Twitter, the Twitter files. The files, which are part of part one of the expose, sheds light on Twitter's controversial censorship decision. Taibi calls his expose a Frankensteinian tale of a human-built mechanism grown out of the control of its designer. He backs his claims by what he says are emails between Twitter employees. Now, according to Taibi, Twitter's former head of legal policy and trust, Vijay Agadi, played a key role in the censorship decision. The company's rationale for taking the censorship step was that the story violated the company's hacked materials policy. Taibi claims this rationale was questioned by many insiders. Even Twitter's then vice president of global communications questioned if Twitter can truthfully claim that this is part of the policy. Taibi says Twitter took extraordinary steps to suppress the Hunter Biden laptop story, removing links to the expose shared by users and posting warnings that it may be unsafe. Twitter even resorted to a rarely used tactic to stop the dissemination of the story. That is, blocking the sharing of links to the story even via direct message. Such a tool is usually only used in extreme cases such as to stop the distribution of child pornography. Twitter's censorship of the story led to then White House Press Secretary Kaylee McEnany getting locked out of her account just weeks before 2020 elections. Elon Musk, who purchased Twitter last month, has previously insisted that full disclosure was needed to determine why Twitter decided to block the article. Musk had been teasing the release of the internal files for several days, arguing that the public deserves to know what really happened. Taibi, through his Twitter files, also revealed company emails responding to a request allegedly from the Biden team shortly after the company cracked down on the Hunter Biden story. One email dated October 24, 2020, contained a list of tweets, had the message more to review from the Biden team. In response, someone wrote, handled these. Taibi further notes that both Republicans and Democrats had access to these files and tools. He says, or claims, in 2020, requests from both the Trump White House and the Biden campaign were received and honored. But the independent journalist notes, that the system was not balanced and was based on contacts. He argues that because Twitter was and is overwhelmingly staffed by people of one political orientation, there were more channels open to the Democrats than others. Twitter, as well as Facebook, took extraordinary censorship measures against the New York Post when it first published its expose. On the 12 of emails discovered on Hunter Biden's laptop in October 2020, the platform prohibited users from sharing the article and also locked the New York Post out of its Twitter account for more than two weeks. Jack Dorsey, Twitter CEO at the time, later admitted during a congressional hearing that blocking the report was a total mistake. We Earn is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.